Rehab Guru's exercise palette or working collection is one of its defining features. It gives you great flexibility and it is unopinionated in how we approach the creation of an exercise program. I'm going to go through a few tips and techniques to get the best out of this feature and really streamline your workflow to create exercise programs as quickly and efficiently as possible. We use the notion of a shopping basket or working collection. We're going to load exercises into that working collection, edit the settings, and only when we come to publish do they become saved. And that publishing could be saved as a PDF, as a template, or assigned to a patient. So to get started, we'll work from the template page and we're going to start loading exercises into this working collection. Think of this as if you're shopping on an online store and you're adding items to your shopping basket. So we can load exercises from a previous prescription. In order to do that, I would go to the clients page, select a client, click on the plus icon to load this collection. Come back to the creator and I've got those 13 exercises from a past prescription in my collection. I've got the freedom to jump straight to the settings page, add, remove, reorder and edit any features of this particular program and then jump straight to the publish page and re-prescribe it if I wish. However, in this case, I'm going to add a few other exercises from a pre-existing template. When I click load, I'm presented with this option of overwriting those exercises that are already in my collection, or I can add those exercises in addition to. So I've now got 15 exercises in my collection. On the exercise page, I could search and add any more that I wanted to. So a recommended workflow is to just add any of the exercises that you think you may need. And then we're going to go to the settings page in order to really refine this exercise program. So to do that refinement, I can select the exercise on the left. It will give me the detailed view over on the right. And here I can edit the exercise name. I can remove the exercise. I can remove multiple exercises by selecting the checkboxes, clicking delete selected. So I can really trim down this program by a combination of removing here, or I could select using checkboxes. Selecting the exercise on the left, I'm going to edit the description. like so. I can edit the parameters using this button down at the bottom. Removing them is as simple as unchecking the checkboxes. I can add a custom parameter at the bottom, click save, and I can now populate those parameters and they will be saved in real time. So there's, there's no need to click save. Everything is always saved automatically as you go. Can reorder exercises just by dragging them. And if I wanted to assign the same parameters to a number of exercises, I can select all of the ones that I want to apply the same parameters to. Choose the master in this case. So I want every exercise to use three sets of 30 seconds. So I apply that to the first one and then I go apply to selected. So apply global parameters will assign those exact same parameters of three sets, 30 seconds to all of those that were selected. So that can really speed up your workflow if you are assigning the same parameters to a number of exercises in your collection. That can be even quicker if you toggle the selection and that can select all exercises all at once. Once I'm happy with the edits, I can go to the publish page. Scrolling down to the program preview, I can check to make sure that this reads OK and I'm happy with it. Up at the top of this page, I can change the program title. If 
from a Rehab Guru Pro or team member, I can assign prescription notes that will be detailed in the email that the patient receives. I can select my patients by searching, by typing in the select client box and choose one or multiple clients who should receive this program. If I'm selecting multiple clients, every, every one of them will receive their own version of it. They, they do not receive the same one. They receive the same collection, but it will be their own individual copy of that collection. The send email button can be switched on and off. If it is toggled to on, these patients will receive an email notifying them of their prescription with links and details of how they can digest that program in the Rehab Guru client app or through the program portal online. If you've got a connected integration, then you can write directly to the patient notes by toggling this button, write to notes. I can save this collection of exercises as a template for use later on. And a really good tip is to save little fragments of commonly prescribed exercises as templates. And then you can load those fragments in order to build a program in the future. So I will save this collection just now. I can see that that has come straight up in my templates page. Other options on this page we can download as a PDF for printing or sending as an email attachment. We can also attach any program uh, attachments or information sheets to the program too. So once I'm happy with all of these settings, I click on assign program and that prescription will be fixed and saved to each of the patients that were selected. I can confirm that by coming to the clients page, click view on client details, and this is the program that was just prescribed to them. The next video in this series will show you how to subscribe to Rehab Guru Pro to take advantage of all of the Pro features.